in the purple bag, we got Mr. Swole who lifts weights all day. <laughs> Put the guns away, sir. And in the green bag, you can't keep it up, we've got lightweight champion who does that all day. When I ring the bell, you know the rules. Anything, you hit the ground, you're out. Put your shirt back on. Okay, thank you. Ding, ding! ding, ding. Yeah, let's go! Yeah. I got yeah. 10 monies on green. Yeah. Go green! <laughs> hit him hard! And he's going. Let's go! Green is losing his bag. Oh, he's going! He's going! He's going down! He's going down! Oh, he's going recovering! He's going! He's going! Hit him hard! He didn't bounce out of there! And oh! Oh! I don't know if we're, oh! We're gonna have to review that one. He's going. Oh, 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 he's yeah. down. oh, oh, he's down. Oh, he's down. Oh, he's gone. Purple wins. Paul oh, no. is down. Bad. Dang it, 213 pounds. This kid likes pizza. Oh. Ah. Ah. All right, all right, we're done. All right. In the blue bag, we got a medium weight, probably 130 pounds. But he's for the ocean. Hey, stand back. All right, you got to know the rules. Me and above hits the ground, you're out. Not demon bell, the same star. Go! Ding ding! Let's <laughs> go. Hit him hard. Hit him solid. Hit him. Oh! He go down! Over here, in the purple bag, we have <laughs> the world's biggest pizza. There is the pizza Johnson. Ooh. And over here, in the green bag, we have the world's giggliest <laughs> onion, Ethan, the onion, Brunton. <laughs> Darren hates onions. You two know the rules. He's a fair fight. On my mark. Get set. Ding, ding. <laughs> Over here in the blue bag, we got this guy and over here. And over here, you already know Mr. Swole. Uh, three, two, a go! Ding, ding! Hello. They're waiting. They're waiting. They're getting ready to, to go, I guess. They're going in. Maybe. He's, he's slowly going towards him. He's almost falling over. And he's, he's down! Mr. Green is down! How do you like that, son? Alrighty, folks. It's playoff time. This is when anything goes. Clean game so. Um, so we got Mr. Pizza. We got Skinny Guy. I think is his name. Um, so Mr. Pizza, how does it feel being a top seeded team in the playoffs? Feels amazing. My belly is doing some stuff. You know, um, it's just amazing. I think I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna win this guy. No doubt. We'll see you in the championship. I already beat him twice. Now. How does it feel being a low seed team? Do you think you can get this one? Hey, I don't give a crap. I got bad news. You're going to see me take this guy down. All down. Right. If you're that ferocious in the field, you'll be good. All righty, hey, folks. Yes, I, will. I want a clean game. Now, wait for the bell. You know what to do. Ready? Ding, ding. <laughs> all right. Call me all set. <laughs> <laughs> I got him! I got him! In that watch degree play, I easily won! Over here in the blue bag, we've got.
got the tiny dude that thought he was going to beat me. Hey, it's going like By the way, this is the second round hey, in the playoffs. Hey, hey. Um, over here in the green bag, we got Mr. Swall. He's the clear winner of, I mean, uh, it's a fair fight. Ding, ding. Put your pants back on. Put your pants back on. Oh, they're going, they're going. They're slowly going to fight. Oh, he takes him out. Oh, he's almost down. And he's even got down. Twice in a row. Sean soon to follow. How does it feel to be eliminated out of the playoffs completely? You lost both of your games. You're fine. <laughs> what you do? What you do? What you do? <laughs> <laughs> He's going rage mode. <laughs> Back on. <laughs> Well, sir, you just got into the second round of the semifinals. You just beat Blue. How do you feel about that? Who's this Blue kid? The small one? Oh, I know who you're talking about. Yeah. Um, you, you just beat him. Um, it's hard to be confident because he's the smallest guy in the league, so I just got to get ready and get prepared for that kid that I haven't won yet. You are going to the second round of the semifinals. Um, how do you think you're going to do against him? Um, I'm expecting to do a lot better than my other games. Uh, I get eliminated really quick against him. I haven't quite figured it out. I'll watch some tape, and I'll get in there and get against him, and hopefully I'll come out with a win. Well, see you next time, bud. Undefeated. <laughs> how does it feel to be undefeated? It feels pretty good. I mean, it's just like it just happens. I have no strategy. I just kind of uh, knock people over. Now, let me ask you something. It's the semifinals. You getting pizza if you win this one? Uh, if you're buying it, yeah. We'll, we'll have to see about that one. Okay. Alrighty. You beat me, so mm -hmm. you're a worthy guy against this guy. What, what kind of chance do you think you have? Oh, I have like an 89% chance of losing. <laughs> Perfect. Alrighty, semifinals, folks. It's playoff. Sumo. Anything can happen. <laughs> Do you guys know the rules? Play it safe. I don't know the rules. Tell me. <laughs> You're gonna get reacted. Ready? <laughs> ding ding. <laughs> oh dang! All right. This is the second round of the semifinals. If you win this, you have to go against me in the championship round. How does it feel <laughs> to have a pretty good chance against this guy with 89% chance of losing? Um, you know, it's a humbling experience because I've lost to him twice, once in the regular season, once in the first round of the playoffs, so it's a humbling experience. Um, I'll see if I can get him this time. Sounds good. And this guy, who's attacking me. I just need to win this so I can finally beat him once and for all. If you win this, you go on to the championship against me. How do you feel about that? I just need to win this so I can finally beat you once and for all. All right, sounds good. What, what, what do you think your chance of success is this round? 89% chance of winning. Wait, I got something to say, I got something to say. Looking up at you in the championship is a little bit like if Trump wins the presidency and he builds that wall. I'm the Mexican looking on the wall on the outside of the United States. You're the wall, boy. Yep, well, wall. Said. Wall. Wall. well said. Well said. He's and he's going in. Oh, he's attacking from the side. They're both attacking from the side. Oh, and green goes green down. Green goes down. Oh, he's going in. Okay, just cut it out. Don't stop it. Okay, ready. Thank you, uh, fans. I just want to thank you guys for watching this all season long. I know it's been a very dominant performance on the hand of Pizza Man. And it's been frustrating to watch if you're a fan of anyone else. But those um, uh, Swole and uh, Guy matchups, those are some good matchups. Swole Guy's going to be coming back next year. So 
<clears throat> watch out for that. Um, we're in our championship now, and I just want to take a minute to introduce our championship contenders. Um, so, Pizza Man coming in undefeated. Here he comes. Boom! Pizza Man, how does it feel to be in the championship? You were expected to be here, and you just blew out all expectations undefeated. How does it feel? I think it feels absolutely wonderful. I'll rank this guy for the, what is it, second or third time tonight? No. Okay. Man, I'm going to ask you again in this interview. Um, are you going to get a pizza after the end? Uh, yes. Yes, I am. If Alrighty. I win, if I don't win, I'm going to have to get two pizzas. Just to make up for it, you know? I, I see how that works. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Now, coming in on our next entrance... That one guy, Paul Grunson. <laughs> How does it feel to be the unseated guy in this game? Oh, you know, I've been like calculating the percentages. And it feels like I have an 89% chance of losing tonight. So let me get that right. You have an 11% chance of winning? No. I have an 89% chance of losing. So you have an 11% chance of winning. <laughs> I have uh, an 11% chance of not not losing. <coughs> Alrighty, sounds good. Um, I don't want to beat you now. Just for, okay, anyway, so we have a game between... This is a championship, folks. Get riled right up. Get riled right up. Ready. Oh! Ready. Ding, ding, ding. wins and one. How does it feel? Well, I thought I started out pretty good, like in that match there, but I kind of just flopped. You know, I just kind of like slipped and fell over. Probably broke something. But you know, my fat just holds it together because I'm Pizza Man. So I, so I got a question. Do you think there was some leftover pizza sauce on your feet from last night's party? Definitely. <laughs> Definitely. That's, I mean, yeah, I'm not making excuses. I'm legitly, you can just, mm. <laughs> So, is that a lesson learned then? Absolutely not, because now I can go lick my toes if I want to. Perfect. Alrighty, I'm assuming we'll see you next year? Uh, yeah, but, uh, well, I don't know about you guys, but I'm, uh, since I lost, you know how I said I was going to get two pizzas? I take it back. I am going to get five pizzas. I ain't sharing with any of you people. Remember, you got to lick yep, those feet really good after those pizzas. Yeah, I know. Back to you. Tide pump. I guess that works. Alrighty, championship. Um... Champion, champion. There we go. Um, yeah. How does it feel? Well, it feels great, Sean. I mean, buff guy. You know, it's been a long road getting here. I had some difficult matches tonight, but I'm happy with the end result. I took that guy out. He didn't see it coming. I think he's over there crying. I want to add, I didn't see it coming either. I was expecting you to lose. I'm sorry. I did not have confidence in you. I do not like you. I cannot beat you. That's besides the point. I'll see you next year. Um, let's see. What else can I ask you? So, oh yeah, what are you predicting for next year? Well, there's going to be this new guy in town. His name's the champion. He's going to take the place of that one guy because I'm going to be the champion next year. That's going to be my name. Everybody's going to be coming after you, though. How does that feel? Feels great, Sean, buff guy. Um, I really enjoy the challenge. Okay, sounds good. Back to you.